Okay, this um, video is about answering uh, about answering physics questions. Is about impulse. Now, impulse is usually um, in any NCA uh, physics paper, mechanics paper. There's usually one or two questions on impulse. Um, one of the questions will be on uh, will be a numerical question using the impulse formula. That is, the uh, change in momentum equals uh, force times the change in time. Uh, this type of question will have the following phrases. Um, well, it will either have time of impact or time of contact, and it may have the words change of momentum in it. Now, as soon as you see the words change, oh, sorry, time of impact or time of contact, you're going to realize that, that what they're talking about is impulse. Um, now, the impulse formula, if I just put it to the next page here, we'll see is. Um, Delta P equals F times uh, change in T. There's only three um, quantities in this formula. So what they'll do is they will give you two of them, uh, maybe force and change momentum, and you'll have to work out time. Or well, they might give you uh, time and change momentum, you have to use it, uh, work out force. Often, the change of momentum may already come from the question previous, from the previous question. Okay. The most difficult uh, of the types of questions I'll give you is going to be the explanation question. So here's an example of an explanation question. Here we've got um, a question. Um, explain using physics principles why rugby players often wear cushion headgear. Okay, so this is um, going to, ho hopefully, this type of question will set off some alarm bells in your head and you'll go, oh, okay, this is impulse. The reason it's impulse is any time you talk, ab talk about uh, wearing cushioned headgear, you talk about softening the blow of an impact, you talk about having a mat to land on when you do a high jump, or um, airbags in a car, anything that uh, will soften the blow of any impact, you know that it's going to be impulse. Um, and you know what they're going to um, want you to talk about is um, why does uh, softening something or increasing the time of a collision actually produce less damage. So, how are we going to answer that? First thing we're going to say is, okay, the headgear that we have for a rugby player increases the time of impact. This is why it's there. It's there to increase the time that maybe the rugby player's knee and someone's head, or the other rugby player's knee and the head, okay, if they were to collide without the padding, there would be a quick impact. But if we have the padding, um, over time, there's, um, the impact ha happens over you know a couple of tens of seconds, uh, tenths of seconds. So the next thing we want to do to answer this question is say, okay, it increases the time of impact, and using the equation above, we know that the relationship between force and time is inversely proportional. That is, that force is inversely proportional to time, or time is inversely proportional to force. Okay, the third thing we're going to say, since we know this is an inversely proportional relationship, you know, that if time gets bigger, our force is going to get smaller. So, um, if F is inversely proportional to time, any increase in the time of impact will result in a decrease in the force. Because this time of impact is this phrase that I said about the other type of question, and it's a phrase that you should use here as well. So these are the, just the three parts here. The first part stating the fact, or well, realizing that any padding will increase the time of impact. Second thing is, we'll chuck down the relationship equation. Force is proportional to one over time. The third thing is we say, okay, this means it's inversely proportional. That is, if we increase the time, then the force will get smaller. And there we go. That's the, this problem answered. Remember, the most important thing is when you read through your questions, identify which one is talking about impulse.